uh, as our next uh, presenter. Um, just to quickly share a screen with you. As, uh, as you can see, Andorra is, uh, is a small country in between Spain and France. Although they're small, but they are competing with the biggest countries and some of the biggest countries in the world in terms of startup ecosystem. Uh, they're ranked 22nd in the Western Europe and 89th globally. And um, they are one interesting fact is that it's the only country that uh, is that has the Catalan language as the official language. And uh, we have uh, our colleagues, Judy, a director of Andorra Business, and Aurora and Vanessa from Andorra Research and Innovation. Uh, thank you for taking the time, all of you, and uh, welcome to our summit. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to, to share my screen. One second, please. Um, one second, I think it's like this. Perfect. Um, well, meanwhile, um, just to tell you that, um, yes, well, thank you very much for the invitation. I am Vanessa Arroyo, the, the head of the Andorra Living Lab and International Relations of the Andorra Research and Innovation, that together with Andorra Business, we are uh, glad to be here for the first time, and mostly because Andorra is the first time that appears in the startup map ecosystem uh, in, your, in your ranking. So thank you for, for this opportunity. So as you have uh, said, yes, Andorra is a really small country, but we are always saying that with big opportunities, and we are going to explain you why. Uh, some figures, you have said uh, some of those figures, that's true, that we are only 468 square kilometers. And uh, well, we are more or less 80,000 inhabitants here, but every year we are receiving 8 million tourists, which represents a really uh, big um, challenge for us. And well, we are speaking Catalan as an langu official language, but we are cohabitan, uh, cohabiting with other uh, kind of nationalities. We have more than 100 different nationalities living here in Andorra. So we can say we are a young and cosmopolitan country. And focusing uh, uh, on economic uh, things and facts that we want to explain to you because this is why what happened before we are here today. No? Uh, since 2012, we opened uh, our economy in order to be a being able to receive foreigner investment because before that we have been all, all the our econ economy was based on traditional sectors, uh, mainly construction, agriculture, uh, tourism, and so on. But um, in the last uh, uh, 10 years, uh, mainly from Andorra business, they have been working uh, uh, hard in order to di diversify the economy um, in, in order to create new sectors of uh, economy that could uh, allow new opportunities uh, to, to work here. We have been working a lot uh, from government in order to have uh, all the international standards uh, that are um, needed to be a startup friendly place. Uh, so in the last years we have uh, get, uh, got the European tax com compliance uh, the double taxation agreements, because we need those kind of agreements B2B with the different countries. So we have worked on that a lot. Uh, and also, well, we have uh, the common reporting standard and we are an IMF member. So we have working on that in the last 10, 10 years. And, ha and all these things has allowed to being able uh, to incre increase our annual growth in 160% and uh, creating an increase also of the 18.7% uh, of the GDP. The, the last year was uh, quantified like this and creating uh, almost 20,000 jobs, new jobs. And mainly the strategic sectors, as I said, that now we are focused on develop. Uh, we have done an analysis in the last years, but uh, FinTech, eSports, health and wellness, biotechnology, and the traditional sports, because we are a country really focused on our um, um, ski, 
uh, cycling and so on. So these are those are um, the, the, the main uh, sectors in which we are working now in order to create uh, startups, uh, possibilities and to create um, opportunities on that. So, well, more uh, a little bit of um, why we are really competitive in to attract startups. Well, this is one of the of the points, but not only that, but we have a VAT of the 4.5% that it's a uh, it's nice, uh, of course, but for us, this is one of uh, an, uh, something else. In reality, for us, what we are now uh, trying is to be competitive in other uh, things, as for example, to be an innovation and entrepreneur entrepreneurship friendly ecosystem, because we think we are we are. We, we we are because the data are saying this so and we like to continue being um, a place where startups can come can find uh, opportunities and can connect uh, with the anoran ecosystem and from from this to the to the international environment no and my colleague aurora is going to continue to explain you a little bit more how we are connecting this with our project related with uh, the andorra living lab so so yeah, really quickly, because I see that we have just one minute. So yeah, we are uh, really deep in all the open innovation pro um, projects because we really believe that we are an open innovation country because we um, act like that. So yeah, that's why we have a proximity be between different key partners, a transversal support. We are um, working as a quadruple helix in terms of living lab. So yeah, I wanted to explain you just the Andorra Living Lab project that that's one of the, our main projects, Andorra Living Lab. It's a space for coordination, re um, research, design, and validation of the innovation projects. So then we can help startups to develop the projects to test in our uh, real environment uh, the technologies that they that they want to to be implemented. I so, am so, able, yes, I am trying to go forward, but I don't know what happens. So, so um, sorry, I, yeah. Our methodology just that um, we explore we explorate uh, the technologies, the startups, and the ecosystem. We co-create, we experiment, and then we evaluate. So for all the startups step who are uh, today here, so you are more than um, welcome to to contact us in our social media and our we website. We have at the end of the. Um, of the presentation and we can explore the synergies. What we have uh, been explaining you at the beginning, we have a lot of um, relations between different partners. So today we can say that we are really glad, uh, glad that we are members of the European Networks of Living Labs. So we have these certifications to, um, to um, structure our, our project. So yeah, thank you for your time and please contact us in our in our website and then we can give you more information and we can keep in touch. Well, thank you so much, Vanessa and Aurora. Uh, it's no surprise that 8 million people visit every year. You have literally 10% of the country is, if I'm not wrong, UNESCO World Heritage status. So, uh, and, and it has, such a wonderful nature that I think you have one of the highest life expectancies in the world. So uh, we really hope that anyone, everyone can visit someday and be able to build their businesses and, and relocate and expand uh, their companies. Thank you so much. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day.